one problem on full wave rectifier where the rectifier type that we are going to concentrate for this problem is the center tap full wave rectifier and we have also seen what are the different parameters that are associated with center tap and bridge wave rectifiers in the previous video the video link is shared in the description box below for your reference once you watch that video and come back this video will help you in solving the problem related to the full wave rectifier circuits. The problem statement says that we need to consider a full wave rectifier circuit which uses diodes having a forward resistance of 1000 ohms and infinite backward resistance. The load resistance is also given as 2000 ohms and the RMS value of the transformer's secondary voltage from the midpoint to the each terminal. So from midpoint to each terminal, if this word is given, then it is definitely center tapped full wave rectifier. And that voltage is also given as 250 volts. Now we need to find out the DC current, RMS value of the load current, DC output power, input power, rectifier efficiency, and the voltage regulation. So first begin with the estimation of DC current for a center tapped full wave rectifier. We have understood that the IDC for a center tapped full wave rectifier will be 2 IM by pi, which will be twice that of the half wave rectifier value. And all these equations we have solved previously. And now we know what is IM also, that is EM by RF plus RL. So let me just substitute that so it will be 2 em by pi into rf plus rl and we are also given with diodes forward resistance and the load resistance and now we need to understand what is this em so this peak voltage whether it is given no but instead what we are given with is the rms value of the voltage is equal to 250 volts is given and we know what is VRMS for a full wave rectifier, which is EM into RL divided by root 2 into RF plus RL. And this VRMS is given as 250 volts. Now to find out EM, so EM will be equal to VRMS into root 2. And here for this calculation, I have considered that RF is less than RL. And that also goes well with the problem statement that was given as RF equal to 1000 ohms, which is definitely less than 2000 ohms of load resistance. So therefore, I have neglected that plus RF by RL term. And therefore, we will have EM equal to VRMS into root 2. Now, this VRMS is given as 250 volts. Just substitute that here to find out what is IDC. Substituting all the VRMS, RF and RL values, finally we get IDC equal to 75.01 milliamps. Next subdivision is we need to estimate the RMS value of the load current. So, here we know I is equal to I am by root of I, it is otherwise known as IRMS. So we know what is I am. I am is EM by root 2 into RF plus R. And this will give us 250. Again, we need to write EM equal to VRMS into root 2 divided by, we have root 2 in the denominator also, so they get cancelled. 1000 plus 2000 ohms will give us I RMS or I equal to 83.33 milliamps. Now the third subdivision is to estimate the DC power delivered to the load and this we know PDC is equal to I square DC into RL. Since we know what is IDC which is 75.01 milliamps so that let us just substitute it here into 10 to the power minus 3 the whole square into 2000 as the load resistance. Okay, so this will give us PDC, the power delivered to the load will be 11.25 watts. And then coming to the fourth subdivision, which is the input power to the circuit PI 
or Pn. So this will be I RMS square into RF plus RL. And this will be, since we know I RMS was 83.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 the whole square into RF plus RL which is 3000 ohms. And this will give us 20.83 watts. Now the fifth parameter that we need to find out is the rectifier efficiency. And we know the formula for the full wave rectifier which is 0 0.812 divided by 1 plus RF by RL. And we know the values of RF and RL once we substitute that which is 1 plus 1000 by 2000. This will give us eta equal to 0 0.541. If you have to write it in percentage, then eta will be equal to 54.1 percentage. And now coming for the last parameter, which we need to find out is the voltage regulation. So first let us find out what is VDC at no load. So this is at no load condition. And this we know the formula is 2 em by pi and wherever we find out em replace it with vrms into root 2 divided by pi so this will give us vrms is 250 volts which is given in the question and therefore this will give us 225.04 volts and after that we will calculate what is vdc which is equal to vdco minus at no load minus IDC into RF. So all the values we have, once we substitute that, minus IDC was 75.01 into 10 to the power minus 3 into RF is 1000 ohms. So this will give us VDC as 150.03 volts, which is your VDC. And finally, once we have VDC and VDCO, it is very easy to find out the voltage regulation, which is VDCO minus VDC divided by VDC into 100 percentage. And we know VDCO is the DC output voltage at no load and VDC is the DC output voltage at full load condition. And now we know both of these values also, where we have found out VDCO as 225.04 volts and VDC was 150.03 volts. And finally, after we substitute all the values, the total regulation is 50 percentage. Hope this video on how to solve problems related to full wave rectifier was useful. The base for solving any problems that are related to the rectifier types is you understand the basic working principle and then you need to know how to calculate each and every parameter that are related to your rectifier circuit. So please refer to the previous video where I have derived each and every parameter on the half wave rectifier and the full wave rectifier circuits. The video links are given in the description box. We will continue to solve some more problems that are related to the basic circuit analysis. Until then, stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video through Electronics Insight channel.